All right, Brad Curry, Woods teacher here at Monticello High School in Monticello, Illinois, coming to you again. We were uh, talking about the bridle joint uh, and how to create the bridle joint for uh, these, uh, this first project, which is just making some simple picture frames for us. But again, it's important to know and understand uh, this concept not just doesn't just work with picture frames, but you can use this for any type of door uh, and panel. Um, there as well as pretty common construction techniques when you're building cabinets or furniture. So uh, I wanted to show you this. Now, when we last left off, I had finished cutting the inside pieces. So now I'm going to cut what is referred to as the tenon so that that will go in there and give me a nice uh, friction fit. So when I say friction fit, now notice these were cut too differently. Uh, this is not a friction fit, so if I let this loose, that kind of comes out. So that would be done incorrectly. As opposed to here, when I put this in, that friction fit uh, gives me enough to put it in, but I can hold it and that joint is going to hold together uh, without. Now if I go and add glue, we'll be good to go on that particular bridle joint. So. So, these are cut and ready, so and those are my uh, rails, now I need to come back in and cut my styles. So, as you're looking, remember, here we cut the inside, so now I'm going to cut the outside. And, I want to make sure that I creep up on this as I go, so we'll get this taken care of. So, I'm going back in, we talked about my tenoning jig here, that I got built off of the plans in uh, Woods Magazine, so good magazine to go. So coming back in now, I'm still set for the end, the middle cut. So I need to kind of come back over here now. It is important on this case. I'm gonna set this up. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to take all of this at once, so I'm gonna creep up on this. Uh, but I will take passes on both sides as I flip it around, and then I'm gonna clean out the rest of the material. I'll test it on each one till I get that final size and then I'll note where that's at on my table saw so that I can get that in. So uh, let me go ahead. I've got this set. I've got my clamp. Everything's secure. I'm ready to just trim out this uh, side face here of my board. So turn it on. My cut. Come on back. Cut my blade off and wait for it to stop so I can turn that around. So, so we always want to wait for that blade to stop just in case we don't want to get in a hurry and accidentally move something into a running blade. So again, this is when that blade is exposed and up two inches off of the table, uh, that is when a, you're at risk of really getting hurt if you're not paying attention to what that blade's doing. My second cut. So let me take this off. You guys will see right away we're not even anywhere near, so we still have a lot of space. Now, remember the rule of thirds. So I got three quarter inch material here, so one third each of these sections should measure a quarter of an inch. So I'll take a measurement here, real quick. So I'm going to measure, I'm a little bit over a half an inch, so I still got a good quarter of an inch to go in material remover on this. Now, a quarter of an inch of material remover, I gotta take it off both sides, so that means I gotta split the difference. So I can move this over half of a quarter. This is where our fra fractions come in. So, so half of a quarter is one eighth. And pay attention to where your measurement is on your scale and make sure you move the fence in the right direction. So I'm going to go an eighth of an inch over here. So we'll take that second cut. I'm actually creeping up on it, so I'm probably going to need another cut after this just to finalize things. So. Yeah. So I cut that side. Wait for that blade to stop. 
Turn my board over. Reclamp. This is just that testing, like I said, you're better off when you're learning how to do this to creep up and sneak up up on that. So I still got a good uh, amount of material to go. So I'm gonna make another move, move my rip fence a little bit closer into that blade so that I can get this in. I'm better off to creep up on it and make sure than to go over and have to recut the board. So. No substitute for time taken to do it correctly. So. That saves you. Saves you having to go back and recut and reprep boards. So. Nothing worse than having about 20 of these to do and cut and messing up one and having to go back and cut one extra piece. So once you get it set and established, you're pretty good. So here I go. So I'm still creeping up on that now. Again, as I look and I'm going to kind of do this comparison. So I can see I still got to remove about a sixteenth here now. that in there now the way I would do this generally once I get this first piece set and I like it then I'll cut them all I won't move the saw blade I'll cut them all at that and then I'll go back and then I'll trim out the rest from that one. the moment of truth did I do it right or did I overpass so we'll take a look and we'll see so there we go so I've got it we're a little bit looser than I would like but it does fit in there so it is friction it is holding so uh, but I will make a one final pass I am going to move it back just a little bit because I'd like it to be just a little bit tighter than what that is so now and you'll get a feel for this as you go. So, only takes a little bit with that. Now, at this point, I still have these two styles to go. So I'm gonna take a cut on both of these on all four sides, and I'm gonna cut out the inside, and then I'll go back. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So we'll do this. Notice I've taken these two cuts in here. I'm going to do that on the rest of my pieces so that I have that. So that's actually called uh, the cheek. So I want to make sure that the cheeks are all cut to the same size. So I will do this cut on every one. That way I know that I'm dead nuts on that center tenon on each of them. Then I'll go back with another pass and I will cut that out as well. So if you'll give me just a few minutes, I'm going to make my cuts on this piece. Then I'll come back and I'll show you the way that we finish this off.